Hello, welcome back, baby oranges. It's time for another Play This Hole 50 times. We're going to KO 4. This hole is an absolute beast of a hole. The OB, I'm just going to play this one safe to start off. Play it out wide here with my big skip, extra glide ballista. And the hardest part is this approach shot. I mean, I'm almost 400 feet away. I'm going to try to light extra glide it and then it barely stops so that was honestly kind of a lucky shot because i don't know that i know this hole that well i mean you gotta judge every approach shot this makes it infinitely harder especially with crazy wind and how far uphill it is I think that's the hardest part is this hole i mean First of all, this big skip, that left OB comes into play so fast, especially if it fades out too soon. And then this approach shot, I mean, 291 feet uphill. I mean, I know my, and then that tree on the right. So that is a perfectly placed tree on the right there. So I'm forced to go forehand. So now it's like, I don't know my forehand distances that well, but so I just went ballista. Okay, I'm back after eight holes. Not doing great, but not doing bad. Just a couple pars, a lot of, and six birdies, but that's fading out too soon. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes that big fade, and next thing you know, you're out of bounds. Got a re tee. Uh, still have a chance to save par, except that it just does a little flop on me. So this is pretty much guaranteed bogey, I think, unless maybe I can go big hyzer. Oh no, <laughs> I was trying to go light extra glide ballista and just hail mary it, but I actually got super lucky. Um, all right, and this got a chance. Oh man, almost saved par, anyways, but I got luck. That was kind of a crazy hole. All right, just got my third bo bogey after that decent start. And now I'm right back into this four headwind. So, and you know what? Lonely Belgian told me that this hole he felt was the hardest hole in the game. And now I believe him. He must have been grinding and he could tell that this hole was harder because, I mean, I'm just struggling. Now I've got 367 feet in a four headwind. So I'm going light extra glide, try to throw my furthest disc. Oh my God, that's not even close. Ugh. So I'm on like a bogey streak, and now I've got, you know what, I heard someone say they roller this, so I'm just gonna try to roller it over the wall. Oh, no, that was close, that was actually close. Um, let's, tr uh, let's try and skip it over the wall. So I'm going extra glide, big skip, skip. To Malu. Oh my gosh, that wasn't even close either. Um, let's try the roller again. <laughs> now I'm just determined. This is going to work. Yeah. No. No. Uh, oh my gosh, this is the problem. You get stuck in these the tin cup situation. Big skip. 
Oh my gosh, the windbreak didn't even... Come on! Alright, so I just kind of rage quit, and then <laughs> I had two more bogeys, and this is just absolutely going terribly. Uh, and I, once again, I have this four headwind. Uh, I'm just going to go light extra glide. It's got to get there, right? <sighs> I'm done. This whole wins. It just, it just feels like I'm going into a gunfight with a knife. All right, y'all, today is a new day. So I went into this hole in a forehead wind and I mapped out every single shot from 400 feet in increments of 10, 390, 380, 360, 350. And I wrote down the exact same disc in forehead wind for every shot right down to 220 feet, at which point the fuse can take over. But not only that, I did it again. Let's see how that this shot here is on the backhand to the right side of the tree. I did it for the forehands on the left side of the tree too. And then I went back in this hole in a four tailwind and I went from 400 feet on the right side of the tree to 393, 83, 70, mapping out every single shot. And then again on the left side of the tree for the forehands in a four tailwind. And then I did it again in the neutral tailwind. So for this neutral wind here, for example, I look at my chart and it says use your windbreak extra glide for 300 feet. So now I take out the forehand, I'm on the left side of the tree, I go, and it is working. Barely long, almost long, but it still, it worked. So I've got three pages of information in charts to map out exactly what disc I need to throw depending on where my drive lands and of course I get the four headwind on the third try of this hole so I'm gonna go roller and that might actually have worked out now here's where the chart that roller is actually beautiful all right, um, 324 feet, so I go to my nice little chart here, left side of the tree, and I got the four headwind. So it says, um, go backhand with my windbreak extra glide ex uh, ballista. And that fade, or that turned too much, but it just scraped over. So, uh, you know, it still worked. Go backhand in the tail. All right, so there we go. Three birdies so far. And one of them was the hardest wind to possibly birdie this hole in. So I actually also added this disc. This is a extra turn, big skip, 
ballista. And because I was going out OB to the left, so I, I use this disc now to keep it turned to the right. And now I've got a tailwind 285 feet. Uh, so the chart says for this one. Um, tailwind. Okay, so I'm going extra glide, accurate musket with a hyzer. And there we go. What a what an easy hole. Like, geez, all you gotta do is like a couple hours of field work. Like, you need a caddy. This is the hole you really need a caddy. So basically, I've got my little caddy book now for this hole. And I'm confident. But again, I get this tough wind. So I'm gonna go extra turn ballista. So you can see that extra turn really is gonna be good, except that it didn't bounce, of course. Um, so I'm gonna lay up, because so again, my chart 422 is out of range. In fact, I won't even try it if I'm not closer than 370 feet. So I'm going anchor. Um, and that'll stop. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay then. I gotta work on my layups now too, because this hole can easily go OB on layups. Great. So I'll take my fuse. And, uh, looks like another ridiculous wind. 190 is about here. 200. Go in. Yes! All right, so we saved par miraculously with the crazy wind. And another crazy wind, four. So this whole, I guess I'll go extra turn again. I, I don't want it to overfade on me. Although this is flying. Oh my gosh. That is a huge drive. So... Now I've got the, the headwind, 280 feet. So I go to my caddy book. <laughs> and let's see. This is a uh, windbreak musket. So I'm going windbreak musket, full power. Go in. Okay. Well, it was the right distance, and I'm safely on the island. So I, I don't know, y'all. I think this is... This is how it's done. You gotta. This is the only way to to shoot well on the. Uh, and you know you gotta you gotta do what the pros do, I guess, in real life, where they take their little caddy books out. They got distances. Uh, this hole is that hard that you actually have to map it out because, if you think about it, this is a new hole. I mean, you're never gonna play this hole from 375 feet. I mean, I'm not even going to attempt this because in my practice, in my field work, it was just, um, everything was going long and it, like it bounces OB long, but this will still give me another shot at birdie. So I'll try and sink this one. That one turned over too much, but, uh, so I don't know. I, th I think, uh, yeah. I'll stop there and skip ahead. All right, so I've been playing and really unlucky with the wind, but I've also missed a couple shots here and there. So, and that extra turn went really far turned, but hopefully 3D2 now, I gotta lay up again. So when I'm laying up, I try to aim over towards this rock here. Stop. Oh my gosh. And these layups are tough too. Um, so yeah, I've had a string of, of pars. So I'm like six, six birdies, six pars. And this is looking like a bogey. Yeah. And now I've got my first bogey. So it's still, even with all that field work, 
This hole is still not easy. Let's see if we can come back from that one. <sighs> uh, extra, going with my extra turn, big skip, ballista again. I actually got the big skip this time, but I'm a little bit far out. 354, right side of the tree. So this one is a light glide according to my chart. Light glide with some hyzer. Go in. Oof. All right. So back on the birdie train. And I'll catch up with y'all later. All right, so I'm on a little bit of a tear here. I've uh, I got four birdies in a row, going for number five. So this right to left wind, I'm liking this turn uh, big skip disc because sometimes that extra glide, it really fades out hard and it goes OB left. Let's see, tailwind. My chart is telling me, my little caddy book, whatever. Forehand extra glide musket. And it is true. So this, if I can just sink this putt. All right, so that's five birdies in a row, I think. Yeah, so we're on a tear. So going for number, going for number six here. This wind, I go back to my extra glide. Big skip disc, although sometimes it still fades out too early. This disc is pretty unpredictable. Now we got a headwind, 290 feet. So I go with my windbreak extra glide ballista this time. You can see the difference a headwind versus tailwind makes. Don't go too long. All right, there we go. What do y'all think? Is this uh, is this unfair? Is this? <laughs> All right, currently sitting at 12 birdies, bunch of pars, one bogey, and this win is horrible. Oh no, that was a terrible skip. This is going straight OB. No saving that one. So now we're looking at a second bogey for the 50. Um, I'll try. I'll try it one more time. And that time was, it's still gonna roll out too soon, so I didn't get the turn that I really wanted. So we're definitely looking at bogey, unless I can do a miraculous, 370 is the limit of my chart. It said, don't go for this, but I, I've made it before. And what happens is it carries long. Don't stop. Oh, gosh. I shouldn't have gone for the... I can make it. I think I, think I can make it. Come on. Stop. No. Slow down. Oh, my gosh. Well, at this point, I have to keep going, right? I can't... Uh, should I lay up? No. Who lays up? I'm tin cupping it again. Oh, that's too short this time. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Oh, I think this is the problem with this hole. It just... It begs you to go for it. That's gotta stop. Ugh. Oh. It, it's begging me to go for it, I swear. All right, so that's a triple bogey. Um, okay. All right, so doing all right. I've thrown 31, I've played 31 times. Got about 20 birdies, a lot of pars, one bogey, one triple bogey. Holy crap, that... Drive almost went long with just the windbreak. See, this, OB, this whole OB is crazy, but... 
I mean, it's so easy to go OB. At least it doesn't penal penalize you a stroke, but it does penalize you distance, which is might as well be a stroke. So here we got a four headwind. My chart's telling me to go light glide. Heiser. Wow, see that's crazy. This disc goes 450 feet, but uphill and forehead when that's why you need the caddy chart. Just gonna say it. All right, so I'm 40 some throws in and I've remained bogey free, but I am on a par streak of about four pars or so. And this hole is very tough in the wind, like I said. Uh, sometimes it, your drive doesn't skip. Sometimes uh, it skips OB. Sometimes, uh, let's see, 350. Uh, my chart is telling me that in a tailwind uh, on the right side of the tree, that this is a, just an extra glide musket. So with flex, and that's way too much flex. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Some people apparently try to get it to skip over like that. I have not found success doing that, but it's nice to get lucky sometimes. And we made it to number 50. We just got two birdies in a row. Let's see if we can end it with a turkey once again. That turned a lot, but I got a good skip, so I'm, I should be within range. Let's see, 313 feet, slight headwind. It's telling me light glide, big hyzer. Go. Oh, yes, barely. Here we go. Let's end this with a birdie with a little bit of a long putt. And we did it. So we got, at least we finished with the turkey. So here you can see my scores. I'm happy to have remained bogey free going down the stretch. Uh, after that triple bogey where I was determined to make it. And now it's time for my favorite part of the video, the statistics. So KHO4, I went OB 13 times. KHO9 won, however, it doesn't dock you a stroke, so there are still only a couple of bogeys in KO4. Um, but the real statistic is the birdie percent. 31 birdies versus 36 birdies in KO9, that clown mouth hole. 72% versus 62%. And much more pars and a triple bogey in KO4. So absolutely, KO4, you are the winner of the hardest hole. I thought it was KO9. I am proven wrong. KO4, plus it took all that field work in the caddy book to even get these statistics. So KO4, you take the pie.